Hey guys, this is Tim. We're going to do an unboxing, and I'm sure you guys are like, hey, it's you know 2013, what are you doing unboxing an HD 6570? So this is to go with uh, a Gigabyte motherboard and uh, A6 uh, Trinity processor. And we're going to try to do like a Steam big box and see, I'm going to use it mainly as a media center. But I'm also going to try to do this whole, you know, like kill your console concept that a, you know, a couple people have been out there with. And I figured, you know, let's try the lowest end parts uh, that you can get out there right now, except for the motherboard is, you know, about $40 more than, than some of the other motherboards out there. But, you know, I believe that you don't skimp on your motherboard. Uh, I, I feel really strongly about that every time I've you know, bought a more quote-unquote value motherboard, I wind up buying a quote-unquote more expensive motherboard shortly afterwards. Um, so this is going to go in with the A6 Trinity chip. Uh, I have an unlocked A6 so that we can do some overclocking. And I'm going to try to set it up in the um, the onboard crossfire. So quick install guide. You have your graphics, Gigabyte graphics, and this is the overclocked edition, so, um, you know, throw this away and go download the drivers from Gigabyte. And we have the card, and we'll set that aside for a second and go over the box real quick. So, it is a Radeon, it's overclocked, it's at the aforementioned 6570 with 1 gig of DDR3. Uh, Gold-plated connectors, which... If you're plugging something in a lot, uh, the gold plated will just help the wear and keep it a little bit, uh, you know, better connection if you're unplugging and plugging in the HDMI connector several times. Uh, it does have DirectX 11 support, which is good since the Trinity chip also has DirectX 11 support. And, you know, there's not, <laughs> it's not a lot to say. This is, a, you know, a last generation mid range card. So uh, the performance is going to be iffy at best. But, you know, all the same, it'll be interesting to see how it does in the uh, Crossfire setup with the APU. There's like an 8 mile piece of tape on this thing. So here's the card. So, we have an aftermarket uh, cooler from Gigabyte. So there's the heat sink and, you know, you shouldn't expect the thermals on this thing to be too high. Uh, it should do plenty of cooling for this card. You'll notice uh, it is no power required. So there is no you know six pin connector needed for this card. It's going to draw all the power uh, from the PCI bus. Which is why if you guys check out my previous video I did a, a review of the Gigabyte uh, F2A85XM ultra durable board. That board has an eight pin uh, power connector on it. Uh, which is really going to help us, uh, one, with overclocking the board, but also with, you know, the PCI power across the bus. So we have HDMI, D-sub, and uh, it is dual, not dual link DVI, that's an analog DVI, or sorry, digital DVI only, because there's no pins. And that's pretty much, you know, a really quick unboxing. I will say it matches the color of the Gigabyte board extremely well. Um, the PCBs are, you know, both the Gigabyte blue, uh, and I'm looking forward to, you know, trying this out. It's it's a, it's a really easy way to try, you know, a crossfire configuration if you've never done it before. I never have. Um, I've done SLI bridges and, you know, two uh, 57 or 570s, excuse me. Uh, but I've never really played with, you know, any of the the modern or more modern. AMD cards. I really haven't bought one honestly since they were ATI. So this is, you know, going to be part of this this uh, media center big box build. Keep an eye out for that video. I'll give you guys some benchmarks of uh, this card uh, with the A6 and see how we do. Um, I can, you know, right now I can really only compare it to my 670, so it's going to lose horribly. But you know, if we can hit 30 frames or better at 1080p and realistically consoles lie to you they're not really doing 1080p they're really doing like I forget it's like 900 and something and upscaling so they, they it's more like 720p and upscaling you know 
don't don't believe them that the consoles do 1080p. Uh, they definitely upscale because uh, the chipset that's in the box can't you know go that fast. They also only do 30 frames a second. So if we can get you know this value PC to run uh, console games, you know we'll we'll take a console title like Battlefield 3, which is actually you know more aggressive for the PC because you have bigger battles and larger maps uh, will and more users more uh, players we will take something like Battlefield 3 we'll put it on here we'll check out what the console uh, you know settings preset settings are we will run the game at the same settings at 1080p and see if we can beat 30 frames a second because if you can beat 30 frames a second it's better than your console um, this is obviously on the current generation of consoles not the you know like PlayStation 4 or Xbox whatever the heck it's going to be 720 we don't know what those specs are you know they might do uh, you know 1080p at 60 frames a second right we nobody knows yet the the, the details haven't been announced yet so we're gonna give this a shot and see how we do this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV thanks for watching